Hey everybody and welcome to Pokemon Go. Crap. Hey everybody and welcome back to Minecraft episode 27, I think? So I just, oh my gosh, I know guys, I'm like a month behind, but I'm finally at 1.10. Really not going to affect us for what we're doing right now, for what we're uh, what we're building, the areas that we're in. Um, you know, since this is a building, uh, uh, hello words. Since this is a building focused series, bones are going to be pretty cool. But other than that, you know, it wasn't a huge update, so that's why I didn't rush into it. But anyways, I'm still using shaders from like 1.8. I'm pretty sure I downloaded them from 1.8. They worked fine at 1.9, and they're, I, I just loaded them up again for 1.10. Yeah, is it just me, or is everything super vibrant? I wonder if we... First of all, let's turn this music down a little bit. Just in case maybe some of you guys like to watch while you uh, play your own games or listen to music or something. Um, What was I going to do? That doesn't change anything during the day. So yeah, uh, might have to re-download the shaders that people have come out with. Or maybe we like this. Maybe you guys like the really vibrant look. We'll see how it looks in town. But anyways, today we've got something really cool. And actually... Oh my, what is that? The auto jump? I don't... How do you turn that off? I've I've already decided that I do not want that on. Auto jump off. Thank you. All right. Yeah, you know, for this area, the vibrant look is actually pretty cool because this is a nice, you know, peaceful area. I think it works. We have a lot of bright colors like gold here. Uh, I don't know if you'd call that gold tan. It's kind of golden. Um, yeah, guys, it's been a while. I was gone for two weeks on vacation. I got some stories from that, but you know, that's going to have to be for another time. Um, I've built some stuff. I've got an idea for today, and we're going to do something that I think is going to be a really fun build. Uh, over here, if you remember last time we watched, or we built a chicken coop together, and I ended up building around it and making the area look nicer. So this is the chicken coop that we made. I'm still not sure why I want to do with these corners. They're just a little funky. And then I built an area back here, you know, mostly dirt, has some hay storage. Then I made a road that goes over here. There's a gate. I like to put these fences up like this. You know, it's just, it's something, uh-oh. That's really hard to see. Um, we'll sleep soon. But then there's a road that goes back, back here. There's a little stairway that goes into this uh, wheat field that I have expanded up here. I've actually expanded it all the way over here, and we can get a better look at this from the other side of this lake. Actually, we can't really get much of a view from it over here, but we'll bring you over here to get a look at it. So we all know by now I have this theme where every time that there's an elevation change in the fields, we have a wall right here. There's a wall going straight up to this lake. It's just a big wall. <laughs> Up here we can see a little bit better. There's different tiers, you know. It's the same thing that we've been doing. It just looks really cool against this lake here. Not done. Um, you know, the field's probably going to be brought out this way and everything. What we're going to be building is a house right there. I've got ideas for it. First I'm going to go sleep. And then I've spent a lot of time enchanting to get a Fortune 3 pick. Um... I finally got it. I got some Fortune 2 picks that, like, would not go together. Like, it cost too much. And they were not, like... It was a decent Fortune 2 pick and another plain Fortune 2 pick. And it wouldn't let me combine them. A little weird, but I ended up getting a book. And now we've got them combined. I went caving. That, that uh, windmill looks pretty cool in the rain, though, you have to admit. It looks really cool when it clears up. Oh, look at this guy. If I sound weird, when I recorded two weeks ago, over two weeks ago now, I um I was sick. 
right? My wife got me sick. I'm still kind of sick and I can just kind of I feel congested now that I'm talking again. Um we're going to fortune up these things before we get building some of it. Some of we some of it we're going to incorporate the ore into this next build. So here's our fortune 3. We got I'm breaking 3. Um I definitely want to do the diamonds right now, the emeralds. I'm I'll smelt this stuff later. I'm not going to do the lapis. I'm not going to worry about all that coal. So let's just lay this stuff down. So we've got some new subs. Just want to say hello to you guys and thanks for supporting the channel. Uh, how many of you guys are playing Pokemon Go? I know the answer is probably all of you. I was in North Dakota for a little while. We just got 48 diamonds from a stack of 23. I was in North Dakota for a while and there's nothing there. Like out in the country, oh, it sucked. I couldn't play. My wife played like four days before I did, and she's like way ahead of me. And she's actually out playing and looking for. She found or she heard of a Charmander spawn about 20 minutes away from us, and she's out hunting for Charmanders. 22 emeralds. That's pretty good. I love emeralds. We need to get a trading system down so I can get a bunch of emeralds. But we're just going to put that down. Oh man, we have a, over a full stack of of diamonds and we have 31 emeralds that's pretty good so last episode i think that we talked about a cat that we had adopted we ended up having to take her back because uh, a few reasons she clearly wasn't happy being around our other cat and they weren't getting along well i told my wife that while i was gone she could get a kitten well, they had a two-for-one deal at Petco or wherever the heck she was, and she got two of them. One of them is just the sweetest thing, and one of them is the devil in disguise, and it's in my bathroom right now, and it's just this little monster. <laughs> I'm hoping that things get better, but I don't know how we're going to introduce it to our older cat. They've like met each other through the uh, through the doors, and they, like, attacked each other under the freaking doors. And now my older cat, I don't know if she thinks that both of the kittens are, like, trying to attack her and being aggressive. But this other one that I have is just a sweetheart. And she was playing by the door, and our older cat scratched underneath it this morning and cut her eye. So, I don't know. Cats, man. I thought cats would be easier. They're just independent little jerks. Well, it turns out that they're just jerks. <laughs> Anyways, what we're going to be doing today is a house over here. And it's not just going to be any house. The house is going to have a secret in it. And the interesting part of this build won't be the house itself. The house might be a pretty small... I'm thinking maybe like a rundown house. Um... It's not going to be anything fancy. In fact, it's probably not going to stick out too much other than maybe being run down. The interesting part is going to be what's hidden inside of it. So I'm going to get started on building the actual house. We've seen how we build houses. You know, we use the same style over and over and over here. So I think I'll start that and then give you guys an update right now. You know, if I added just one house in here, maybe I could slide into finish this pathway over here and did the little detail things I do around town to make it full. It would connect that half of, you know, all the fields and the town. Everything would feel a lot more complete instead of every time I go anywhere, I run through this big gaping spot of nothing being done. I think it's a little stuff like that that are important to feel like you're, you know, getting somewhere with your project. If you have a bunch of empty spaces and you're going to feel like you got all this work ahead of you. But anyways, this is what I've got. You're like, so? <laughs> exactly. So? It's just a little house. It's not a big deal. What's inside of it is going to be our big deal. And by the way... For those of you that have seen the episode on my campsite, that is back here somewhere. Yeah, over here. Got a campsite over here, which I'm actually, I really like this campsite. 
if, if any of you are making campsites or making tents, maybe like military, uh, you know, uh, outlooks or whatever, add some banners in front of the tents. And it looks like a curtain. I really like it. I got some coal down there. Just a little thing. But yeah, we're not too far from that campsite. Those people camping there don't know what's going on over here. They don't know what this guy's got in his basement. We'll go over there and take a look. Well, there's nothing yet. I haven't added a door, but... Step down, and it's kind of a, you know, crappy uh, entrance. Doesn't look very clean. Doesn't look like a rich person necessarily lives here. No, it's pretty crappy in here, actually. I'm actually going to block this off. Let's give, us, give ourselves a little bit of room. There. Now nothing's going to surprise us. What we're interested in is what's going to be right here. There's going to be a secret tunnel in this, uh, in this basement that's leading to this guy's... I'm going to say secret operations or whatever. Uh-oh. Um, <laughs> we'll just cover that up. It's not much good if it's not. All right, that's stone. It's kind of hard to see right here, isn't it? Let's get some of this in here. Um, we're going to pretty this up and look at not pretty. We're going to do the opposite of prettying it up. We're going to make it look ugly down here because we're not doing good stuff down here. The guy in this house found a vein of lapis lazuli under his house. And he's been using it for illegal reasons, maybe. Maybe he's got some, you know, he's trafficking. Um, he's selling it. People are... It's drugs, okay, kids? It's I, I don't know how to say, how else to say it. He, this guy's got drugs in his basement. He's got a secret passageway. This guy's dug it out with a freaking spoon. He's crazy. He just wants to get to this lapis down here. Look, this is some pretty creepy stuff down here. We'll add a upper floor, maybe. Maybe we should. Because unlike the other houses and stuff, where the outside is what's important. It's the inside that's important here. So I guess I will add a second floor. But anyways. So we come down here. I've got some lapis ore that we can throw in there. And how low do we want to go? How about here? And then we can get like a real operation going here. Let's just dig this out. Now... We've got quite a bit of lapis ourselves. Does that mean that we're getting high on it? Eh, something to think about. <laughs> what are we using this stuff for? Oh, coal. That's not what we want, though. Um, Let's make it a little bit bigger. Do we have room to pick all this up? There's always use for cobblestone. I got more, co more granite than I'm ever going to need, so... Unless I find... A build style for a different town that happens to use granite. All right, so we've got that. Next thing that we're gonna want to do, we're gonna want to put down the lapis. Let's just put it down randomly, kind of like this guy hit the jackpot. He's digging towards it. Let's put some in the floor. Um. Get the coal out of here. We're not interested in the coal. You know what? Let's completely remove the coal and put some smooth stone in there. Because I don't want to take away from the fact that if someone comes down here, they're like, oh, lapis. Something, something's got... And we got to make it clear that something's going on, right? Well, let's add some more here. We've got plenty of lapis, so we can just toss this stuff around. Yeah, it's pretty noticeable. Let's put some over here. All right, so first thing that I want to do is make the descent look, you know, like this guy does not know what he's doing. He just dug down. So maybe 
Maybe he, uh, there was a collapse or something, right? Walls, uh, stone, rock fell down on him. So he had to, he had to add some reinforcements in here. And right there, keep stuff from falling on him. Especially right there. That's a bad spot. Also could add some stone walls for the same reason. Stone walls, if not looking like support, kind of looks like uh, stone that they've cut into, doesn't it? Gotta use your imagination a little bit. That's what we do. Um, let's just... We got shaders on down here. I'm tempted to just turn the shaders off. And I think I will. Shaders, I I noticed, I was flipping through them to see if the other ones looked so vibrant. And they don't really as look as much as the light. It used to take a long time to switch between them for me. Now they, like, switch really fast. All right, what are we looking at for light levels, just in case? Got a seven. I believe they need six to spawn, right? Let's hit that and put it there, just in case. All right. What else does this guy have? We can use more walls somewhere, I bet. Right here. Um, we got a cobblestone foundation, so let's remember that and use a little bit more cobblestone instead of dirt. And then, you know, it, it goes away after a while, turns into stone. They didn't put the foundation way down here. So, but maybe they did put it here. All right. So it looks like foundation is being chipped away there we have grass here i don't really want grass definitely don't want grass let's put some gravel in well we've got gravel don't we are we gonna need coarse dirt i don't see how gra how grass could get down here but i'm gonna do it just in case and then i'll we'll just throw that away you oh you know what we could do Yep. Path blocks. I freaking love this stuff. Oh, it's such a great addition. It just adds so much texture. The depth of being down a sixteenth of a block. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. All right. Does this have a different, like, noticeable? Yeah, that is noticeable if I just do that. Just to add some variation. I like it. Let's get rid of, let's see, that's going to be up, that's going to be grass outside. Alright, we can change that. So coming down, let's see if we can fit some slabs in here to make this descent a little bit easier for our, for our uh, resident drug addict, lapis addict. Maybe it's not even drugs, maybe this guy just thinks that he's high on it and he's just like this crazy guy. Let's mix up some different kinds of woods and wood in there. Makes it look like maybe this is dirtier than that. Maybe he just used whatever kind of wood he saw laying around, you know. Um, and he didn't even place it that well. I don't know why he put some over there. <laughs> maybe you guys could tell me. Um, yeah. Does that make sense? We could probably put some stairs around here. But it's, you know, it's not a good stairway. This guy, he just doesn't really care. We've got some trap doors now. Can we put it in a way that's kind of hiding it? Like this guy. Does that kind of hide it? Yeah, I mean, it does. Is there any way to get those to go sideways? No. Did I get that? Um, What do we not need? I don't need that anymore. I go through so many hoes. That's, that's, uh, I was gonna say that's what she said, but that doesn't really make sense. Anyways, I think that we might have to 
revisit that idea. We could do something like that. Yeah. Looks like it's kind of boarded off. Can't get back there unless you crawl through it. Although we know that you can get back there. Anyways. All right. So we've got brewing stand. Because I don't know how else you'd turn this into drugs. Uh, it's nighttime out. Um, how are we going to use that? Let's just... Now, if this guy is a stone table somewhere, that would be more permanent. So let's say that's not that. Because none of this looks permanent to me. Can you place it on top of that? You can. I kind of like that. I kind of like that. Oh man, I really like this. That's that different blocks. It's just little things, just like just like this, a sixteenth of a block. I love it. All right, let's get a chest in here. I wonder if they're ever gonna add different chests for different kinds of woods. Let's put that right there, and then we've got some lapis that we can mine up with our diamond three, and we can put some let's put some ore in there and then let's also put some raw lapis in there i freaking love mining this stuff with uh fortune three look at that 56 out of and then let's yeah it's just um I'm trying to make it look all scattered and yeah that looks pretty random doesn't it then let's spread that out even yeah I like that all right is there anything else that we could do down here we could definitely switch up this floor a little bit just add some detail to it Let's use this diorite that's clogging up my inventory. This actually goes with stone pretty dang well. I like that. That's pretty good. You know, it's so simple. It's really simple. Let's see if we can't add a little bit more detail because it's feeling a little too simple to me at the moment. Let's just like wood. He's just got stuff boarded up down here. Um, I'm not sure. Maybe one of those, one of those has its place. I don't know about both being used exactly the same. Let's throw down another wall because it does look like it's chipped away. Like, like he was mining there. Let's do it here as well. And could we do it here? Would that look good? Yeah, I think that looks pretty dang good. Don't you guys? I like this place. I really like the places that you have to... That you stumble upon, kind of. Because maybe it's just me, but when you start finding things that don't seem like they're easy to find, you start thinking, how much crap is hidden in this map? Like, I could, there could be stuff all over. It adds a sense of adventure to me. Is it nighttime still? It looks like it... Just got to be daytime. Let's get our shaders back on. All right, I added a door to it. I was thinking, what kind of door? Well, this is the only kind of wood that I had. <laughs> and I was like, I hate this texture. And I was like, you know who would use this kind of door? A drug addict. So I'm going to use that door. I really, I really do hate this texture, actually. Like, it looks like it should be see-through, but it's not. I had a little window there. If any of you have suggestions on the video on little things that we can add, little details, maybe even big things. Well, not too big. I mean, I mean, yeah, if it's big stuff, suggest those too. But if you have little things I could add to what I've already built, give them to me. Just the little things that add to the build and, you know, make it all come together. But anyways, yeah, I was looking around and I was like, I was thinking, we talked about adding a couple buildings here add maybe a building back here like here or something and then expand the town that way have a road going to this house the town doesn't need to come all the way back to this house we don't need like 
consistent town density throughout the town. We can have a road going to an isolated house. Excuse me. Ugh. Oh, excuse me. I just had some coke. We can have an isolated house over here that adds interest to it. Because look, this town or this house is not interesting. You go inside it, then you find the interesting stuff. Other than that, the having it isolated can add to that interest. So, you know, I've been doing uh, a lot of these this town boring work off camera. Maybe I'll uh, take some time. These houses take about 15 minutes to make each, which if I really got in the groove of them, I bet I could make them a lot faster, especially really generic ones. Ones where I mix it up a little bit more, it takes quite a bit longer. But I bet I could throw in some generic houses in here. Finish this pathway here, have a pathway coming down to there. This wheat field, if we brought it all the way up to that, uh, to the pathway that connects over there to over here, and we'd be in business. This would be, you know, this town is actually not that far from being done, I bet. Now I say that, I remembered. I have plans for like a whole dock, a whole shipyard over there. We're going to add some boats in here, too. I bet I can do that off camera, because if you've been with me for a while, then you've seen how we do boats, but I can probably show you when we get them built anyways. I have a tutorial on it if you want to see how I do my boats. They're little. They could fit. I could probably fit one of them in right here. I think there's three wide, so it would fit right in here. Actually, I think they're five wide at the widest, um, not counting the mast. Um, look at those clouds. This building, this building needs to be finished. This is another uh, industrial building. There's like a crane in here or an elevator for wheat. But anyways, this fountain has to go. I'm not a fan of this fountain. <laughs> anyways, we built a pretty cool thing today. I like it. It's one of those little things that adds to the town. But anyways... I'm back, guys. It's been two weeks. I've made my first video since that last one, and I'm loving it. Oh, yes. Getting back in the groove. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Have a great day. Uh, hello, words? If, if you like it, then leave a like and subscribe. Thank you. Bye.